Following the revelation of Dwayne Dawkins' infidelity to his family, friends, and co-workers, many things transpired. In the previous episode, we had covered how his decision to not allow the NSA access to the company user data led to him being fired and his family having increased resentment towards him. But when Dwayne makes this decision, the NSA still felt incentivized to seek access to the data in an effort to deter domestic terrorism. Aside from the immediate effects of his decision, we learn that Dwayne's wife, aside from revoking his finances, had entered into a relationship with Dwayne's brother in retaliation. Needless to say, Dwayne's relationship with his brother became quite strained. Despite having little interaction with his children, Dwayne still funds a snowboarding trip for them in an attempt to strengthen what little bond they may still have. Due to constant monitoring, monitoring of his social media and telecommunications, the NSA catches wind of this trip and plots for a quote-unquote accident to occur. On their seventh run down the Devil's Tongue Slope, two explosions go off at the peak of the mountain, leading to an avalanche. The explosion not only leads to the death of Dwayne's children, but 34 other civilians as well. This was a small price to pay to ensure the eternal suffering of Dwayne Dawkins. The news of this, coupled with Dwayne's rampant alcoholism, leads to him being thrown leads to him throwing all managerial ethics out the window, disregarding normative practices for any management decision he may make down the road. <laughs>